What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Contentful JavaScript client so that we can fetch data from the Contentful Delivery API in our next JS application. We are going to create a new content model and generate the API keys from the Contentful console and then set up the JavaScript client in our next JS application. Remember to subscribe to the channel and let's get started. Okay, this is the code of our index page in our next JS application where we are basically showing the list of shops that we get from this data file. So now I'm going to create a new content type in Contentful using the same fields that I'm using here. And instead of getting the data from this local file, we are going to use the Contentful client to fetch the data using the Contentful delivery API. From the Contentful administration panel, I'm going to create a new content model or content type. So I'm going to click on content model. And now I'm going to click on add content type. I'm going to call this content type shop. Okay, I'm going to click on create. And now I'm going to add the fields by clicking here on add field. This will be a text. And the first field of this content type will be the title of the shop. Then I'm going to add another one that will be the location of the shop. And then I'm going to add the company field and the language field. Company. And finally, the language field. Okay, now I'm going to save this content model. Okay, this is our shop content type with a title, a location, a company, and language. I'm going to click on content and I'm going to add the records that we have here within this data file. Here I added these three shops that we have within this data file. And I already published this content because we're going to use the delivery API. So we need to publish the content to be retrieved by the Contentful delivery API. Now we are going to create the API keys. So we need to go to settings, API keys, and we need to click on add API key. I'm going to call this next JS shop app. And I'm going to click on save. And I'm going to grab the space ID and the access token for the content delivery API. And I'm going to test this first from Postman. So let's go to Postman and let's create a new environment. So the environment name will be, let's say, contentful dev. And let's add the space ID variable. And we're going to paste the value that we grabbed from the contentful console. The next variable will be the access token. And I'm going to grab the value from here. I'm going to paste it here and I'm going to click on add. And now I'm going to select the environment and I'm going to click on send. And we're going to get the list of shops that we just added using the Contentful console. Here we are calling the entries endpoint from the Contentful Delivery API. And these are the records that we get from that API. So here we get the items property. And within this items array, we get the three records. We get the senior node engineer, the senior global engineer role, and the senior Python engineer role as well. And some other important fields here are the identifier that is an identifier generated by Contentful that we get here within this sys property. So from our next JS application, we're gonna access this identifier from here and also the fields using this fields property. Okay, now I'm going to install the Contentful client for JavaScript. So this is npm install Contentful. Okay, and the Contentful client for JavaScript requires two environment variables that are basically the Contentful space ID and the Contentful access token. And I'm going to grab the values from the administration panel. So I'm going to copy the space ID and I'm going to paste it here and I'm going to copy the access token for the content delivery API and I'm going to paste it here. 
Okay, now let's go back to our shops page. And here, instead of importing this shops array from the data file, let's create a variable, actually a constant, const, const shops. And here we are going to use the contentful client. So we are going to create that client here. So this is const client and here we can do require contentful and here we can do create client and here we need to pass the two environment variables so this is a space equals to process dot and dot and let's grab the values from here this is contentful space id and the other one is access token and again this is process dot env dot contentful and this is access token and here we can use the client to get the list of shops from the contentful delivery API. So this is client dot get entries. This is the method that we need to use. And this is a promise. So this should be a wait like this. Okay, and here we need to make a few changes. So here, this prop that we are passing to our shop card will be actually the fields property that we get in the response from the API. So if we go to Postman, actually this is the property that we need to pass to that component. So let's go back. And here we need to pass shop.fields. And the identifier of the shop, let's go back to Postman. The identifier of the shop is this ID property that is within this sys element. So let's go back. And this is shop dot sys dot id and i'm going to make another change here this will be get static props because we are getting the data from a cms so it makes sense to use a static site generation approach in this case and here this is shops dot items if we go to postman this is the element that contains the array of shops let's go back and now let's try this npm run dev okay now let's go to the shops page in the browser and as we can see here we are rendering the three elements that we have as part of the content that we created here from the contentful administration panel that's all i have for today thank you guys for watching and i see you in the next video take care bye